businesses, you probably have a fax machine. And, of course, you buy paper for that machine. The question is, how much are you paying for that fax paper? Well, depending on your machine, you could be paying anywhere from $3 to $100 per roll. A St. John's company recently almost paid 10 times the amount they normally pay for fax paper. Darren Rogers reports now on a situation that is within the bounds of law, but which might cost you a lot of money. And Benny. The president of the union representing workers at the dockyard in St. John's has welcomed news from Mayor John Murphy that the Irvings of New Brunswick have been invited to look at that facility. Ellen Ross tells NTD News, however, that the mayor's efforts might have been unnecessary if the situation had been better handled. Leave from government. The government has announced it wants out of the business of running daycares. Representative of the Parents Association words over the proposed Civic Center continues. Board of Trade President Roger Flood says the city can benefit greatly from such a facility. Flood says the city should look beyond the day-to-day -day operating expenses to what a Civic Center might attract to St. John's. It is an assessment which obviously has not impressed the deputy mayor of the capital city, Kevin Simmons, reports. The late night will continue in just a moment. We've been going to see the Molson Indy this weekend in Vancouver. You may want to consider buying the tickets through the Internet and not the box office. One company is offering you all the indie information you can handle to get you ready for the race. That info is yours by buying your tickets electronically. Julia Kingsland has the details in this report. <laughs> well, if you think you're too old for such a game, this next report will dispel that belief. She's been a national champion, but now that she's in her 80s, Henrietta Berger refuses to give up the game she loves. And as we'll hear in this report from El Paso, Texas, she still gives of the locals a run for their money. On the NTV News Late Night, we meet with the Almond Brothers. Some very lucky fans in Toronto tonight. The group is coming off a banner year, having performed at Woodstock 94 and being inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. The Allman Brothers have also just released a new live album. Global's Rob Davidson spoke with Greg Allman and Alan Woody recently about their longevity in the business. Mm -hmm. Country music sweetheart Dolly Parton returned to Nashville recently to sing at the Grand Ole Opry. And as we hear in this report, Parton says the trip is something special. Mm -hmm. Entertainment news tonight. Ringo Starr fans in the United States will be disappointed to learn that the former Beatle has canceled his U.S. tour. We have more in the entertainment wrap. Once again to local news, now the city's outside workers have voted unanimously to reject the latest contract proposal by the city of St. John's. Dave Reynolds, the spokesman for CUPE, the union representing the workers, says the ball is now back in city council's court. The city has said it would lock out the outside workers if a deal was not signed by September the 6th. Turning now to our weather forecast and with the sky scan weather, as you can see, as we head up along the eastern seaboard, not too much in the forecast in the way of clouds for the New England states, but a little bit now as we head into uh, Quebec and Labrador and uh, lots of rain and some thunder showers for um, most areas of the province for much of Wednesday. The forecast in detail for St. John's Mount Foley Avalon, mainly cloudy. For Wednesday, a high of 14 degrees, but things will turn to rain for Thursday, a high of 12. Some showers and 15 degrees, a high for Friday, showers at 17 degrees for Saturday. For the remainder of the island, clouds and 18 degrees for Wednesday with a chance of showers by late afternoon. Rain on Thursday, a high of 12, clouds and 18 for Friday, showers and 18 for Saturday. And for Labrador, showers and 14 degrees for Wednesday. For sun, for Thursday, lots of sunshine. Get excited whenever I see sunshine. A high of 17 degrees. Showers and 17 degrees for Friday and for Saturday. If you'd like to comment on anything you've seen on tonight's newscast, feel free to contact us. Here's how you can do that. We are the NTV News Late Night at Post Office Box 2020 St. John's, Newfoundland, A1C5F. Our phone number, 709-570-5243. Our fax number, 
709-722-3207. Or if you wish, we can be reached on the Internet. Our email address, ntvnews at consulsult.nf.ca. And that is our program for tonight. I'm Tony Marie Wiseman. On behalf of all of us here at the NTV News Late Night, thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you back here again, same time, same place, tomorrow night.